What's up everybody? Today's review is on the Karsher WD2 shop vac. Um, not just the Karsher WD2, but pretty much Karsher shop vacs in general because they are kind of all the same. Um, they just are different sizes. But I have the WD2. Well, it's an MV2, but they switched from MV to WD2 after I bought this. Check out the Instagram and Patreon page. Links in the description. Um, so when you get this, this is um, Karsher's bottom line of shop vac. And really, if you're going to be using it for um, like um, any kind of construction work, or if you're going to be using it for wood shaving, I'd say you should get at least a WD-3, um, just because 12 liters isn't very big. Um, also... Well, we'll get, we'll get to um, the hose later. So in the box, you get the vacuum, a 1.9 meter hose. It's long enough. It does the trick. Um, a crevice tool, two extensions, and a floor piece, um, four wheels. It comes on wheels. Um, just one filter bag and one of these guys, a wet filter. So when you, if you buy the WD-2, I'm pretty sure it's the same, still the same way. If you buy the WD-2, you are also going to have to buy the filter. This one, I'm not sure if it's the same model number still, but the, um, this one is that. This, this is what it looks like. Um, and just while we're talking about the wet filter, when you're using the wet filter, you have to put this little knob of plastic in the bottom. Um, I'll show you that. Zoom in. Come on. You have to put, where did it go? Oh, here it is. You have to put it in this hole right here. Um, it's a little tricky to get out, so I'm not going to put it in. But if you want to put the dry filter on, you have to take it out so that that can lock the filter in, just like that. Um, I've never vacuumed water with this vacuum, by the way. I've only ever vacuumed um, dry stuff. Now, the bags. And in case you're wondering why this vacuum is so expensive, it's probably because these five bags cost you nine bucks and this filter costs you like ten bucks or something. The filter will last you like ten years if you clean it properly. And the bags, well, you don't have to use the bags. I have used it and you can definitely use it without the bags, just the filter. But I'm, I would recommend getting a sleeve for the filter if you're going to do that. It just helps um, keep junk out of the filter. So these are the bags. They're not like your traditional vacuum cleaner bag. So this is the canister. It's a 12 liter canister. So this is the front. And you have pin on either side here. And you have these two things at the front. So what you have to do, take this filter bag, stick it in, and this cardboard top Put the two little holes in, and then it sits on the two things at the front. This is the the WD-2 is the only Karsher vacuum that has this type of bag in it that they still sell, as far as I know. All the other Karsher vacuums have the um, traditional hose in the front and the traditional bag. These bags are small and they do fill up very quickly. 
then putting it back together is sometimes a bit tricky. It's not a it's not a bad design. It it works pretty well. It's just it takes a little bit getting used to. Then you just clip it on like that. So spec it, specs it's uh, 230 volt of course, 5060HZ that doesn't matter. Um, it's a thousand watt, and I believe they claim it has the power of a 1200 watt, and I I do not doubt that this thing has a tremendous amount of power. It's double insulated. And then it says IPX4, I believe that's the water resistance. I will look up on the internet what IPX4 means and put it in the um, um, description. Made in Rom Romania, I'm not sure if they still make them there, but that's where this one was made. Um, the canister plastic is uh, PPT25. I will again look that up. Can you see that there? Hope so. Um, where did it go? Right here. I'll look that up on the internet and see what that means. Um, all the attachments and stuff are made out of poly, um, polypropylene, I believe it is, PP. And I imagine the hose is probably made out of the same stuff. So, on the back you have storage for three accessories, two long hoses, I don't use the middle one. Then you have storage for access your crevice tool and your hose. You have a clip for your cord. The cord, I think, is about five meters. It's not too long, but it's not too short. And actually, if it was any longer, it would be an extremely annoying thing. Um, which is up top here. So, before we get to testing this thing, this tool, I'm going to talk about the hose and also why you should buy a car, um, a shop vac or a car sure or a, um, I think Rigid makes them and a couple other brands make them rather than a house vacuum for most houses. But anyway, the hose, this is the only annoying thing about the MV2 or WD2 design is the hose goes in the top so it kinks over and if you're sucking like hair um, if you happen to have cats or dogs and you're sucking a lot of hair through this it clogs up in here see um, you kinda have to hold it like that now if you're vacuuming with the two floor pieces and you got the hose like that it's not so bad but if you're down on your hands and knees vacuuming in a crevice or something it sometimes clogs up um, if you don't like this design then buy the WD3 or bigger because they go in the front um, um, yes the hose is polypropylene by the way but I, I kinda like this design um, I've started taking the hose out when I wrap it up just because I, wrap, I used to wrap it up like this so the hose was always badly kinked so now I just take it out and it's not as bad anymore. I, um, now we're going to talk about why you should buy a Karsher or shop vac or whatever and by the way before me and my dad started using Karsher we started using Karsher 10 years ago, so we've been using Karsher vacuums for 10 years, and the original, none of them have ever caused any problems. All three of them that we have, this is one of them, still work fine. Um, and my dad, I don't do as much vacuuming, but my dad uses his all the time on like drywall dust and insulation dust and sawdust and all kinds of stuff like that. And they work really well for that. Um, the one has done a ton of stuff and it still works just fine. But um, before we use shop vacs, we before we use crushers, we use shop vacs, um, and again they worked just fine. Uh, I think you can still find shop vacs at Canadian Tire or Lowe's or something. But the sh the shop vacs worked well. Why we switched to Karcher was because we moved from Canada to here and shop vacs aren't sold here. 
Now, if you, why you should buy a shop vac, or a, I, I call this a shop vac, it's just what I call it. The shop vacs, like the, this whole thing with all the stuff you get in the box is, I think, 55 euros. So, compare that to like a um, one with a HEPA filter, it might be 300 euros. This will definitely work as a house vacuum. You can use it with or without a bag. And actually, Cursor Shop Vacs, the WD2, is what we use for the house vac. Because we used to have proper house vacs, like the the um, little things, house vacs. And both of them broke within, like, th we had two within three years, and both of them broke because they were just so flimsy. Whereas these are much more robust. Um, so if you're a homeowner and you just want a house vac, these guys actually work really well for house vacs. Um, for sucking sawdust in the shop, you really don't need to have that HEPA filter vacuum that costs 700 euros or whatever. These guys suck sawdust just fine. Now, if you want to get the HEPA filter, then fine. They probably do filter stuff better than these guys. But um, these, these guys work just fine for sucking sawdust, concrete. Well, I wouldn't suck concrete dust from a grinder. Uh, um, with it, but you can you can suck anything with these and they will also do water just fine um, Karsher the yellow car. There's two different kinds of Karsher. There's the yellow Karsher like this. They have 12 WD2 17 20 25 and 30 liter and then they also have a gray version which is the professional line which I think starts at um, 20 liters or something and goes up to 60 liters and they're a lot more expensive and Karsher doesn't just make shop vacs they also make pressure washers we have the um, uh, KT or whatever it is 5 pressure washer the second biggest one it works well um, so the, I definitely recommend checking out the Karsher if you can get them um, and also, compared to a house vac, I would say that this one probably sucks harder than a house vac. So if you have, like, dirt and stuff in your house, um, this will suck much better than a house vac. And, um, you, you can still get into cracks because you have the crevice tool, and you can still do carpets and floors and stuff with this guy. This guy works great on taking cat hair out of carpets. And um, if you don't want to be scrubbing with the brush and wiper, you can just pop this out. And it's just a, just a float. Um, these guys, it works great for taking cat hair out of carpets. So chances are, at some point, you may want to hook your vacuum up to a power tool, say this sander. Well, DeWalt has made it so you can't hook up a standard vacuum. You have to either get the adapter from the DeWalt airlock to the standard vacuum, or you have to get the DeWalt airlock um, system. And really, why would I go out and buy the um, adapter when it comes with a nice little bag, which works fine? So not all. To this is not going to fit in all tools. Um, of course, most tool most tools you can get an adapter for. This has an inside diameter of thirty thirty one. So if you're if the dust port on your tool has a 31 millimeter, 31, yeah, millimeter diameter dust port, this will fit over. Or if it has a 35 millimeter dust port interior diameter, this will fit in it. And the walls on this, in case you're wondering, are two millimeter. So this, this doesn't fit in any of the tools I have. There's quite a few of them where it almost fits, but it doesn't 
really fit, like properly fit. Anyway, we're now gonna test it. Brand new bag. The filter, uh, it's a little dirty, but chances are if you're using this vacuum, it's gonna be a little dirty at all times anyway. So we're gonna test it out. We have some garden soil, gravel, and uh, something I scooped off the workshop floor. So we're just going to pour it out like that and we're just going to suck it up like this. And this is with the bag in it, in case you're wondering. Hard dirt. Workshop floor chop. Walt sander bag, could use a good cleaning inside. There you have it, it really sucks. And I mean sucks as in suck stuff into it and not crappy. It's a really good vacuum. Um, I have been using this I think I got it. Let's see, is there a date on the back here? Not that I can see. Uh, at least, I've had it at least six years, probably closer to eight years. Um, and I, I've used it a lot. Um, something else. Oh, this one doesn't have a blower option, like you can't take the hose off the vacuum and stick it on um, the blower, blower, but the bigger ones, I believe, starting at the WD-3, do have a blower on them. So, um, if, if the blower is important, you have to get at least a WD-3. Um, another thing, this vacuum... Okay, maybe it's not as big as the others and the bags fill up quickly, but it is extremely light. So if you're vacuuming stairs, you can just hold it in one hand here and have, and because the hose is shorter, I can, um, it's extremely easy to vacuum stairs with the two wands and you just go like this. You have this in one hand and the wand in the other. That, um, it's not too heavy, and also it's short, and the handle is in a good spot, low profile. Also, um, if you work like up in the top of apartment buildings, I know some places that might not be a problem, but here there are quite a few apartment buildings where the stairs are about this wide, they're twisted, and there's no elevator. So this, if you work in a lot of places like that, this is a really nice vacuum. or it's small so it doesn't take up much room in your truck or van or car so um, if you're like going to work and you are only going to be drilling a few holes maybe doing a bit of sanding and you don't want to haul a big vacuum you can haul this one um, so because of how inexpensive it is I'd almost say even if you have the bigger one you should get this one as well because it's really useful um, and if you have this one, you should also maybe consider getting the big one as well. And I may very well be getting be getting um, the bigger one, like maybe the WD-4 at some point. But there are other tools I need before uh, another vacuum because this one really does do everything I need it to do. 95% um, of the time, whenever I'm making a lot of sawdust, it just goes on the ground anyway. Um, so I think that's all I have to say about this. Bottom line is the Karsher brand, whether it's the yellow one or the gray one, is a really nice brand. 
not too expensive quality stuff. Um, um, their pressure washers are really nice. I've used two of them and we have one of their pressure washers. Their steam cleaners, I don't know enough about steam cleaners to know if they're any good. Um, they make a couple other things, but the the pressure washers and the shop facts are the only th cursor things I've really ever used. And I'm, I really like them. Um, I'm not sure if I would go out and buy the professional grade Karsher, although they are bigger, so if you're sucking like wood shavings, like if you're using a planer, um, getting going and getting the professional grade probably would be a good idea because the yellow ones aren't as big. Um, so thank you for watching and also thank you f to everybody who has subscribed. Um, my channel hit 100 subscribers a few days ago, so thank you for everybody f for subscribing. Thank you to everybody for subscribing, and definitely check this thing out, the, this, not thing, this vacuum out, and thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.